Hey everybody and welcome to Technology and Toys and today's video is going to be a review of Systems Duplicate Finder for Mac software. So if I go into Spotlight and I search System, it comes right up. I'm going to open it up for you guys. And as the name might suggest, this is a piece of software designed to identify duplicates and potential duplicate files uh, to help you free up storage on your Mac. Because if you're like me, you know, maybe you have a little bit of storage, but uh, as soon as I start recording videos at 1080p, 60 frames per second, and they go on for 10, 15, 20 minutes, that storage starts to disappear. And then this can help you slowly open up a bit more storage for whatever you need. I'm gonna give you a rundown of the settings real quick. You can change the scan method from file content to file name. So if you have two things that are named identically in different places in a folder, it will find those. If you have two things that are uh, similar, in content so say if you have two of the same images but maybe they're named different it will find those for you you can change your removal method from moving it to the trash to deleting it permanently or you can move it to a selected folder so if you want to review it at a later date you can and you could change your image similarity this is how similar images have to be in order for the software to pick them up as duplicates and then you can select minimum and maximum file size if you have like two super huge files that you know are the same that you don't want this to pick up you can select that you can also come over to the ignore list and uh, specify those files specifically so i'm going to uh come over here and i'm gonna select my technology and toys folder and I'm going to hit scan and it's going to go through everything in the folder and it's going to find similar images, uh, similar files because I set this based on uh, file content not file name. And if you look over here it comes up with all of my two buddy milestones for the channel. I do save these because it makes me feel like I'm doing something that's worth rewarding. And it has them all selected. You can change the magnification so if you want to see more at once you can. And you can make it big so you can look at it one at a time. You can have uh, in this thumbnail view you can have it in a more cover flow view. And then you can have list view where it gives you all the details that you actually want to see. You can click on overview up here at the top and it'll tell you what it found and how much of each of these categories it found. Because I'm searching through similar content, it's going to come up with all images. And you can select all documents, images, music, videos, archives, packages, and others. And then you can click on each of these and it'll tell you different things about them. And then you can click on both if you want to get rid of them both or however many you have. You can deselect them all because I have these in different spots and I kind of need them there. So I'm going to go in and uh, deselect all of these. It's bringing up a lot of my thumbnails because they are very visually similar and really the only difference is review versus unboxing. So I'm going to come over here to my logos and I'm going to show you how this works. So say I want to get rid of this one file. What I do is I select it and then I click delete and it will say are you sure you want to delete selected files to trash? You can restore the files in trash. Note that selected files on external drives can only be erased permanently. So if you're erasing things from a uh, server, an external hard drive, or just a USB drive, you might want to uh, double and triple check those before you click OK because as soon as you click OK they're gone. And then if I come over here to trash you can see there's the uh, there's the logo that we just deleted. Now I'm actually going to drag this back because I kind of need that. But that's how this uh, works. I've been using this for about two months, almost three months. Um, I've been trying to record this video for about two months as well but uh, my software keeps screwing up and hopefully it didn't screw up this time. Hopefully I'm not talking to myself. I mean, I, I'm still talking to myself, but hopefully you guys can hear this. System reached out to me and asked if I wanted to check out their software. I said, sure. I've been using this for a little while. I've been intentionally creating duplicate files and throwing them all throughout my hard drive and it still found them all. So overall, in that sense, it does exactly as advertised. And the generous people over at System uh, also gave me a discount code for you guys. If we uh, go over to System.com, we click on the duplicate finder. I'll have this link below. It gives you a more uh, in-depth rundown of everything. It's a free download. 
for the trial version and we'll click on buy now and we'll show you all the different options and you have your duplicate finder for mac one year license for one mac is $19.99 your lifetime license for one mac is $29.99 and your two-in-one utility bundle is the duplicate finder for mac and contacts mate for mac and that is fifty dollars i don't know how contacts mate works they didn't reach out to me with a code to uh see how that works and you can check out using paypal or a vangate and if you check out using a vangate you can use the code cdfyout10 to get ten dollars off if you check out using a vangate so if you do that you're looking at $9.99, $19.99, and $39.99. They accept all kinds of different payment methods and cards. They have expert support 24-7-365 and a 30-day uh, money-back guarantee if you purchase this and decide you don't actually like it or you don't need it for your workload you can get your money back. And once again I'll put the code on screen it's CDFYOUT one zero that gets you ten dollars off when you check out using a van gate guys that's all for this video i hope you enjoyed if you did be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so that way you get notified whenever i post the next video this has been jake from technology and toys and until the next video guys i'll see you later goodbye